another one bites the dust. What I'm saying is by that is another family owned truck stop is bought out by a corporate giant. I don't know who the corporate giant is, but it's Noka Truck Stop out of Carney's Point, New Jersey, and the one in the Indiana sold. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to South Jersey, specifically Carney's Point. The Snoka truck stop, it's kind of empty because they got a road closure. And Luca brought me here. Let, let me spin this around. Look at this ride. Look at this ride, man. Woo! Beats all diesel cars. Electric, but it's my, it's my wife's, but it's gonna do the job. That's all I needed. It's more economical for me to drive with this one here. Cause uh, it took me three, three hours actually to get here. Which is, it's a bad thing cause it's three hours kind of sucks, but it's a good thing I guess people are going to work. So there was a major traffic this morning. Uh, the highways were, highways were flooded. So economically speaking, I think it's good. Cause you know, as far as the trucking industry, it kind of, it's down a hill and it's not, it's, it does not seem it's improving. Uh, staying stable, meaning it stably sucks ever since basically last year. But um, let's keep the hopes up. Let's keep thinking that it's going to change drastically sooner than later. But we'll take it for what it is right now. I mean, as far as uh, the t-shirt brand, we're still doing quite well. Thank God. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. God bless, you know. But uh Let's go inside. Let's see. Let's see what they got. If they got anything. Yep. Nobody here. Only Mr. UPS. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I mean, I love seeing this, but at the same time, it's bad. And look at the hats as well. Not much left. I got to clean them up a little bit. Put new ones in. Fix this up. Hollywood Shack no more. Not until the Gear Gemma magazine. But uh, yeah, let's switch them up and uh, make it look nice. Oh look, this truck stop is not that bad. It's, again, it's an awkward truck stop down in Cornish Point, New Jersey. Look, I mean, they do got pizza, whatever. I don't know if they, dis I don't think this ever works. They got some Indian food. Something. They do got Dunkin' Donuts. And they do got your usuals. And let's see how the bathrooms are. Like I said, I haven't been here in a while. Bathroom's all right. All right, time for a break. Yeah, so it's pretty, uh, it's a big truck stop. On the other side, they do got pilot. There's actually two pilots. There's one pilot on the other side of the, uh, the highway. And there's another one here right there. I mean, I can't even see the sign, but it's right there, right across the street. So they got two of them. And plus they got this one. And this one usually is filled up with, uh, Lot, lots of many uh, owner operators But like I said, I, I hate coming here because I wish I wouldn't have to come here But the guys says no don't don't ship your stuff. We want you here do your inventory do your stuff clean up It's you know, it's It takes the whole day. I mean like I said, it's a three hour it's usually like a two-hour job But it takes today it took me three hours, but thankfully on my way back. I'm not gonna go straight back home I'm going to stop in Border Town, New Jersey, down in Petro, and do that store as well. See Louie. Louie's a cool guy, man. I love him. And, uh, yeah, let's get this one done. And then head out to uh, Border Town in New Jersey. So, as if you would notice, we are done. But guess what? We are missing some. And especially with the hats. And that, I'll let you know in a few. Oh my lord, talk about bad economy. You can't even get a parking spot in Wawa. What in tarnation is going on? One of my favorite places down here in South Jersey.
Stop in Wawa. Obviously, you got to stop in Wawa. I mean, if you don't know what Wawa, Wawa is, I don't know. I can't tell you. I can't help you there. But there's no parking spaces. I, I mean, I found one, a great spot. But Jesus, for the love of God. But anyways, let's stop in here and get myself a shorty. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's get this order. You know, I gotta slime everything on this one. Pop, 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 pop. Give me all of it. All of it. No cornbread, no nothing, no thank you. Boom, five dollars. Let's uh, complete the order. Let's chop it up. Another one bites the dust. What I'm saying is by that is another family owned truck stop is bought out by a corporate giant. I don't know who the corporate giant is, but it's Noka Truck Stop out of Carney's Point, New Jersey, and the one in the Indiana, sold. So when, when I, <laughs> the funniest thing out of all, the funniest thing out of the whole deal is, um, you know, when I came in there, is this is what I do usually. They call me up, they tell me to come in here, you know, we need your stuff, whatever, can you come down and get the inventory done? Yes, no problems. I'll be there next week, in two days, or whatever the case may be. So in this case, I showed up two weeks later, right? So two weeks is two weeks. So anyways, I show up with my stuff, try to put my inventory in as I usually do. I say hello to everybody, you know, there's the, uh, the employees that was working there are the employees that I've seen before. So I figured nothing's different, but anyways, while I s set up everything, the whole inventory was done, I go to the management, show them the bill, they look at the bill and they're like, wait a second, we got a problem with this. I'm like, what's the problem, you know? And they say, well, the bill is too big, we can only accept onto this amount. So I'm like, wait, what's going on? And then that's when he started talking about, hey, listen, it's a new management, this is corporate, you know, stuff like that, so everything's gonna be kind of different. So I'm like, you know, so that's why you saw what you saw. That's why when you're gonna go into that truck stop, like let's say today or next week, there's only 75, 80 t-shirts. That is it. I took all my hats out. I took five designs out. Uh, basically, that place is empty, which takes me off. But anyways, thank God. Out of the the positive thing out of this is I no longer have to go to Corny's Point anymore. I don't no longer have to drive there. So they said from now on they will just order, call me or whatever the case may be, email me, and I'll just shoot them over with UPS, and they'll pay the bill. Which is, for me, lovely. Because I hate it. That was a two-hour, three-hour drive. Turn around here, whatever. That's a lot of waste of time. But anyways, again, support your local family-owned truck stops, man. I mean, that's where that's where it is because now it's corporate. I don't know what, what's going to change in that truck stop. I don't know if they're going to be have new regulations, new items, or they're going to delete some other ones that they used, they used to have and that was pretty good. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be for the best. Um, it's not Ambest, it's not TA, it's not, I, I don't know, it's, I don't know who bought him out, I have no idea, somebody's about to find out, but another family truck stop got bought out, but anyways, I'm here down in Border Town, TA Petro, I don't think they, I don't believe they got bought out, I hope to God they didn't, I was here two months ago, and everything seems the same, so I'm about to see Louie, say what's up, and get some new inventory in here because they do need some. I think they do need some. So let's check it out. All right, let's go see Louie. Bro, what's up, amigo? Yeah, what's, what's, up? Up? what's up? What's up? How we doing? Good. good, good. That's, That's my boy Louie. Uh, <laughs> oh man. And he's empty too. Same thing with this one. Let's clean this up. Check out what he's got. Look, that place looks kind of small from the outside, but it's actually big. Yeah. So he's got a few. Yeah, almost double. Same thing with their stacks. Their stacks, they want See, there you go. Now it looks hot. All done, finished, looking pretty. That's what I'm talking about. That's how it should always be done. And look at the hats.
And look at Louie, already getting another order in. If you want, stop in, say hello, New Jersey Chrome Shop at the Petrol 314 down in Bordertown, New Jersey, and say hello to Mr. Louie. Hello. See you. Adios, Adios, man. Adios. I'll see you next time. All right, I'm out of here. I have fun. Uh, the truck stop down in uh, South Jersey was kind of a trip. But luckily, we made it. Border Town, as always, is cool. No issues, no problems. I love it. So uh, make sure to stop in in one of them. Support me and support your local truck stops. Well, not anymore because they're not local, not family-oriented, whatever. It's corporate. Now everything's corporate from what I know. Uh, I don't know. Let's all hope for the best. See you.